Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Lyra. And today we're reacting to... The Boondog Season 3, Episode 14, The Color Focus, Full Episode. Now before we get to this video, this video was requested by... Chadwick Mail, and the comment will be right here. Now before we get to this video, please comment down below what videos y'all want us to react to next. If y'all want us to react to more of the Boondogs, please let us know in the comment section below or anything else that we will get to it for sure. So let's start the video. My name's Uncle Rogers, Aww. and this is the story of my relations. I was born under unusual circumstances. It was the 4th of July, and I was told it was an especially good night to be born. But that was some bug. I came as soon as I heard it. What is it, Doc? There's no easy way to put this. That brown spot on your child's arm. It's a rare and incurable skin disease. It will spread all over his body. His skin will continue to grow blacker and blacker and blacker and even blacker and more blacker and blacker and then even blacker. Fucking plain English, damn it! I can't understand what you're saying! Eventually, he will be indistinguishable from a Negro. No! Not anything but that! No! no! Wait a second. This reminds me of something. Ain't this um, Benjamin Buttons? Hmm? Benjamin Buttons. It, it's like the same story. Like, you don't. You never watch Benjamin Buttons? I do, but what you don't remember this? the beginning? No. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. Like, just put it down in the comment section below. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come here, bitch. Give me something real quick. You ain't said nothing so far about my hair. Cause it ain't yours. It is so mine. I'm the first colored girl you ever met with blonde hair. And one day, I'm gonna have eyes as blue as the summer sky. Bitch, you ain't never in a million years gonna have no blue eyes. You're hairy than a too. Your personality ain't much to speak of either. Your cooking ain't shit. You ain't clean worth a damn nasty bitch. But I need somebody right here that's gonna wash the stains out my drawers. So I guess you'll do. But mister, your mama hates me. Mama ain't got much more time left in her. She gonna be dead in a few seconds. You watch and see. I don't know. Look, uh, why don't we go for a walk down by the swamp and talk about it? But what about the- Bitch, I said let's walk by the swamp. Okay, okay. Hey, Juju, tell mama I'll be right back. Oh, oh. Have mercy, what? Ah. Who left this ah. baby on my steps? Sweet. Yeah. I'll cut this. No! This ain't no regular baby. It's a white baby. It's the most beautiful white baby in the whole wide world. White baby? Oh, that's all I need. Damn white baby kidnapping job. Bitch, put that thing down. Go to police car. No, wait. Here's some money. Somebody wanted us to take him. <gasps> hmm. I mean, white babies might be better than I thought. Hey, he took that fast as hell. Know. Damn. <laughs> Reflexes fun. <laughs> Yo. What's oh, this? Point. Some kind of birthmark? It don't look like no birthmark I ever seen. Who knows? I'm sure it's nothing. Mister, can we keep him? Can we love him forever and raise him to be our own beautiful white child as husband and wife? Fine, bitch. Oh, thank you, mister. What should we name him? We gonna name it after my uncle. Okay, Uncle Ruckus it is. But if the thought has come, you going to jail, bitch. I didn't know nothing about this white baby. <laughs> I'll never forget the day my grandma, Nellie Ruckus, Showed up at my house after all them many years. I'll never forget, cause it was a day that scarred me for the rest of my natural bone life. Ah! Ow! Damn it! Oh, Uncle, it's you. Nelly? Nelly, is that you? Nigga, I thought you was a burglar. A big, fat, funky, nasty, stinky, black, one-eyed burglar. Why the f*** didn't you knock, nigga, you raggedy son of a bitch? I live here. You <laughs> ask me again, boy, and I'll cut you. What are you doing here? Uncle, I'm dying. Doctor says it's gonna be any day now, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't die in your father's house. Ah, I haven't seen or heard from you since the day daddy threw me out 53 years ago. Yeah, so what's new with you? Your daddy always used to say you wouldn't amount to <laughs> Do you even have a job? I have 47 jobs, actually. Yeah, right. It's one of those jobs that Unabomber? And how am I supposed to die in this 
fucked up chair. No lumbar support. You want me to die with back problems? You raggedy. Hey, Robin, yeah. I just finished retiling the roof. You still need me to snake out them toilets upstairs? I can do it right now. Only take me three, four hours. Right now? I don't know. It's getting late. Hey, boys, I got an idea. Why don't we turn off all the lights? I get under a sheet, and we can play clan and the little Negro. Well, how about you go on a hot date, and I'll stay here and babysit the little coon kitties all night? Brooks, are you trying not to leave my house? My grandma Nelly just showed up, and she's... Well, I can't explain it. I just can't go back. Ruckus, everybody got a messed up family. Shoot, look at the boy. What? No, mine is different. <laughs> the revitiligo spread rapidly across my whole body, like that black symbiote that turned Topher Grace into Venom in Spider-Man Part 3. By the time I was three years old, I was indistinguishable from any other African Negro child. Uncle, Uncle, how come in there, sir? My adopted Negro father was a loser, even by loser Negro standards. Yes, me also. Why you frolicking in the damn field? Oh. Frolic your ass to the store and get me some beer, nigga. He was miserable just for the sake of being miserable. But what I remember most was his unwarranted hatred of the white man. Damn crackers. Black men can't get ahead for nothing. I remember him making me feel very ashamed for my very own whiteness. I hate all these white My mom. I'm white. Daddy's just upset, baby, because he's lazy and the white man makes him work hard. I had two younger brothers, my brother Daryl and my other brother Darrell. But mister always seemed to single me out the way. I would get beaten for anything. Nigga, did you just break that vase? Oh, sweet Lord have mercy, my baby! Just having fun with off limits in mister's house. Nigga, did I just catch you having fun? <laughs> He reminded me of what a failure I was going to be. Miss, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Nigga, did I just catch you on the beach? Oh, 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 Lord have mercy, my baby! My darling adopted Negro mother, who I loved almost like she was white, did the best she could. Now, don't you listen to him, Uncle. You ain't no worthless nigga. Deep down, deep down in your heart, you always have to believe that you are special. She made sure I knew all my white history. Mama, who's George Washington Carver? He's the man responsible for more peanut allergy deaths than anyone who ever lived. Baby, why don't we read about Eli Whitney instead? He invented the cotton gin. He was a great white man, just like you. Many a night, I dreamed about my biological father returning to take me away to white people land, but it never happened. When I thought it couldn't get no way, my grandmama showed up at the doorstep. I'm dying! She was the only person I ever met more miserable than my daddy. Damn, she been, she been feeling like she gonna die for a long time. I know. <laughs> Damn. Uh, look at you. Didn't I tell you you wasn't gonna be with your stupid, ugly wife and your stupid, ugly cheering? I can't wait to die so I don't have to look at your ugly black nigga ass no more. Ah, I can't tell you no more! It was very shortly after that my adopted father threw me out of the house. I ain't seen none of them since. Your story is just so powerful and so sad. Real, real sad. I mean, I ain't gonna cry because that's gay, but but it is real sad. But I don't know what to do. I swear I can't go back home with that woman there. Please don't make me go. <laughs> oh, I get it. You leave me in the shack and you come and hang out in here in a fancy Mansion. Get out of my way, damn it. Hey, I get out of here, Rob. I get out of here. This. Oh, now this is a dying chair right here. No, 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 no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's my chair. That's a living chair. Oh, yeah. I might want to get buried in this right here. Uh, Grandma Nelly, please. You can't die in Robert's chair. And let's go back home. I don't want to die in that hole. Oh, I want to die in the fancy mansion. I only get to do this once, and I'm going to do it right. <laughs> Robert, you gotta help me. You black. You understand this functional family. Make her leave. I can't. She's my grandma. You can. Hell, you old enough to be a grandmother. I don't know who we want to keep living in this world. Economy gone down like damn toilet. Got disease, war, oil spills, food shortages. I bet people gonna start eating each other. They probably gonna eat them cheering first. 
flesh more tender. Oh. Please, Robert, please. She won't be too much hassle. The doctor said she gonna be dead any minute now. No, she can't stay here, and she definitely can't die here. On the front lawn, maybe, but not in the living room. Now you make her leave, or I'm gonna make her leave. I know what God really wants, damn it. He wants me to kill my f self. That's why he f with me. That's why he gave me a f up ass life. But the joke's on him. I ain't gonna give that the satisfaction. You make her leave. <laughs> Nigga, what the f do you want? <laughs> Ma'am, it is a pleasure to meet you. And I'm very, very sorry about your impending demise. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'll leave when I'm dead. Ain't y'all got no food in this raggedy piece of fancy Mansion? Okay, that's enough. I'm not playing around anymore. I ain't scared of you, nigga. We can oh. talk to in this house today. You don't talk to me like that in my house. I ain't there. Hey, let me in. Let me go. Oh, damn. It's probably Mr. Oh. Daddy? Daddy is coming here? I told him I was here, and he told him I, he want to come watch me die. Ain't that a bitch? Good. He can take your ass out of here and watch you die someplace else. Nervy that bitch trying to put a blade on me in my house. <laughs> it was the first time seeing my adopted family in 50 years. My mother, Bunny Rocker. My brother, Daryl. And my other brother, Darrell. And finally, my father, Mr. Rocker. Is the bitch dead yet? Okay, we here. Now go ahead and die already. You think you impatient? I've been waiting to die since the day you was born, you worthless bastard. Guys, can we do this someplace else? I ain't moving. First person lay a finger on me getting cut. You know what? You've been talking that same dying f for 96 years. Now, I ain't got all day. Hurry up and die so I can go back home. Oh, if you got to do, nigga, leave. I can die on my own, damn it. No, I'm gonna make sure you did. Then I'm gonna celebrate. For the first time in my life, I'm gonna be truly happy. I'm gonna have some balloons and some ice cream and cake for your funeral. Then I'm gonna damn. put some cement over your grave so even if the dead come back to life, like in them zombie movies, your ass ain't gonna be nowhere. Look, guys, enough is enough. We shouldn't do this in other people's houses. Let's go. Come on, Nelly. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, I can't tell you how nice it is to see all of my boys what? under one roof. Oh, my God. He's good, ain't he? We got so much catching up to do. Now, Uncle, did you know that Daryl is an accountant for a white finance company and just got a promotion from his white boss? Who? Amazing. That's wonderful, Daryl. A white man promotion. Congratulations. Oh, it's really not that big a deal. And Darrell here owns his very own motorcycle shop. And he's married to a white woman. Oh, she's the most beautiful white woman you've ever seen. And she has his name tattooed right here on a white titty. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> it's personal. I can't believe it. My own brother with his name tattooed across a white woman's milk gland. Congratulations. Big enough accomplishments. What'd you accomplish, boy? Hush, mister. I'm proud of Uncle. He lives in this beautiful neighborhood around some lovely white people. He live in a shack on the outskirts of town. He works hard. And still ain't got And ain't never gonna have You know what that means, you? A Mexican. Is that what you've accomplished with your life, boy? Being a Mexican? You ain't even gotta speak English to be a Mexican. Whose fault is it that you a professional Mexican? Is that my fault? He's not a Mexican. He's our son. You always treated me different. You never loved me because, because, because I am adopted. <laughs> adopted? Boy, you still believe that? Damn it! How old are you, Mr. Stop? You still believe you got what was that called? What'd you call it? A uh, revitaligo? Daddy, come on, <laughs> that's enough. He does have revitaligo. You ever heard of anybody else having revitaligo? Your mama made that up, boy. She thought it'd be good for your self-esteem if you believe deep down you was white. <sighs> that's why they shouldn't let dumb bitches read psychology books. That's not true. We found you on the doorstep. I, I don't swear. hate you because you adopted. I hate you because knocking up your mama killed my chance of me ever experiencing. <sighs> In a single moment of happiness or joy for the rest of my damn life. Baby, don't listen to him. After that, it was more and more hundred niggas miles to feed. All my big plans don't write down the I worked my life away for these damn crackers. Still couldn't make my ends meet. Mister, now you leave the white man out of this. Shut your ass up, bunny. I'm sick of you talking about that damn white man all the time. Name one of them who ever did for any of you. Huh? Can't do it, can you? Look at what you did. All my kids is some damn Uncle Toms. And you the worst. A black fool who hates himself so much he can't even see what's in front of him in the mirror. Just another black nigga like the rest of us. 
I hate you. You're the reason why after I say the name Ruckus, I always say no relation. I am adopted. I am adopted. <laughs> it's a shame we don't all get together more often. Well, there's got to be some way to get these people out of my house. Wait, what about hounds? Hey, can we release some hounds that, you know, chase them away? That's legal, right? Riley, Google hounds. Hey, oh, uh, Ruckus, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. He, he just said something. He said something terrible. He said I wasn't adopted. Adopted? Nigga, you ain't. Well, I'm sure he was just <laughs> trying to push your buttons. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, of course I'm adopted. <laughs> Hell, we don't even look nothing alike. I'm sorry, boys. This must be confusing for y'all. I know you think of your old Uncle Ruckus as a pillar of strength and confidence. Look, Uncle Ruckus, we know what it's like to have an abusive parental figure, to suffer the mental and physical abuse. Hey, this ain't about me. Leave that alone. The endless work. Clean up your room. Take out the trash. Do your homework. Always walking on eggshells, wondering when the next whooping gonna come. Oh, I'll never forget the day. The day he threw me out. The day that changed everything. like Academy Award nominated sad. Man, I cry because of this story. I got allergies. <laughs> I'm just laughing because of what you said. I know. But this, I ain't gonna lie, this is sad. This it's sad. very sad. <laughs> but that was pretty sad. Uh -huh. Uncle, she gone. In my living room? Oh, no! Uh. In my living chair! Get my chainsaw. Where we go? Back to the hotel, Daddy. Already? Let's keep partying. She finally dead. It's not true, is it? What Mister said? You know you can't listen to that black fool. Your daddy's just miserable because he never learned to love the white man. Mark my words, he's gonna end up just like his mama. Just be happy you're adopted, son. We donkeys are a mess. Buddy, get the molasses out your ass and come on. On Thursday, between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m., I did great. The family decided it was best to bury Nellie Ruckus him in Woodcrest. That was on account of the generous 70% discount offered to employees, such as myself. Mind if we help? Don't seem like this should be all on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <so> <laughs> Got a good one, Daryl. Good one too, Darrell. You did always seem to get it to waste, Uncle. But I never could understand what Holly Man got to be so hateful, so mad at the world, for no reason. Look, nothing excuses what Mr. did to us growing up. But as we got older, we saw things. The white folks Mr. works for, well, they didn't always treat him very well. No, that's crazy talk. No, Uncle, it's true. Every time Mr. went out into the war, the white man took a little more of his dignity, and his sanity, and his humanity. He served white folks his whole life. Oh. He even worked for the police department as a practice dummy. Ah. Sometimes they would just abuse him for no reason. Good job, boy. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Damn. Well, he must have done something. It just ain't in the white man's nature to act cruel for no reason. Sometimes I think him being so hard on us was his misguided way to try and toughen us up for a tough world. I can't believe you made us get dressed up for this, Granddad. The earlier parts were just so moving. I have to see how this tragic story ends. Nellie had a statement that she wanted read today. <clears throat> For the last six decades of my miserable life, I had only two wishes. 
The first was to die. The second was that my only son, Mr., would somehow reach the grave before me. While I am obviously disappointed that this didn't happen, and I curse him from the grave, I'm still pretty happy to be dead. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. However, I get the last word because I'm alive, bitch. And a round of applause for my son, Uncle, for the fine job he did digging the grave. It's okay, boy. I had some jobs in my day. Of course, that was back in Jim Crow. Now, how you gonna be a failure in the 21st century with a n in the White House is beyond me. Dad, that's enough. Dad, please. No, no, that's okay. Keep talking. Keep talking, Daddy. That's the eulogy this old woman deserves. Oh, she did this to you. And now you doing it to me. You've been doing it our whole life, and it's getting old. It's getting real old, old man. So get it out your system, then sit down and shut the f up. <laughs> you say to me, uh, what part in particular? My back is my own injury. Oh, he Well, I guess Grandma Nelly got her wish. Yes, now I can marry my white lover. If I only missed her, I had lived long enough to love the white man, too. I never thought I'd say this, but our family isn't as messed up as I thought. I feel great. I saw a story that moved me emotionally. Yeah, me too. I hate to be him. And I've learned my lesson. I see I've been too soft on you guys all this time. From now on, I'm really gonna let you have it. I'm finna give y'all some of them good old-fashioned country beans. Come here! <laughs> Stop it, Granddad. You crazy. I'm gonna hit you with a switch, or something bigger than a switch, like some firewood, or throw you out into the field, or push you out of a moving car. <laughs> <laughs> what can I'll we say? I'll push you out of the car, Granddad. <sighs> Why you ain't laughing, you? See you soon, Ruckus. You was a sight for so eyes. Take care of yourself, Uncle. Bye, Daryl. Bye, Darrell. Hug your white wife for me. Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama's white lover. Bye, Uncle. Bless you. Bye-bye. It's hard to escape becoming your parents. Hard, but not impossible. Hopefully it's easier when they your adopted. I hadn't realized before how much my hatred of the Negro came from my hatred of Mr. Maybe it was time to stop hating niggas for being black and start having sympathy for them for being hopelessly inferior to white folks. But as far as darkies go, my adoptive family is all right. Well, this episode was definitely sad. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, there's too much emotion going on. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Uncle Ruckus has lived a hard life. His father has even lived a harder life. Like, Yeah, it's very sad. Like, to know the story of about Uncle Ruckus, like how he is. And there you go, guys. You know how, why he's like that. Thank you again, Chadwick, for requesting this video. Please comment down below what videos y'all want us to react to next as we will get to it, all that good stuff. And don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notification button. And we we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.